good night. Hi, Dad. Hi, honey. I'm almost finished. We're finally gonna go buy our Christmas tree. Hey, guys, look at this. Ooh. Well, I wonder what I'm gonna get for Christmas. Every light that shines reminds me of a toy. Got a new gold penny and wanna spend it. Every click and clock and knickerbocker makes me want one more. On to the store! Well, I wonder what I'll get to give at Christmas. Every bell that rings sings, give my love away. Oh, my heart is warming with my friends before me. On, On the, the nicest, nicest kindest, kindest, Christmas light, shiniest, givingest of days. Give love away. I already gave. A smile on every face, a slower, simpler pace, a spirit we embrace with tidings full of cheer. We give a helping hand to every fellow man. Just try, you'll see you can make every difference here. In Chelsea's day -oh. Looking good, guys. Thanks, Jimmy. How's the collection coming? Ha! Ah, we're getting plenty of food to share with the less fortunate. <laughs> Jimmy? Hey, Junior. What's up? It's only the most exciting night before the most exciting day of the whole year. Santa? Gifts? Reindeer? I'm so excited I can finally stand it. Me too. Me three. What you guys doing? Every Christmas Eve, my grandparents give me one gold coin, and I'm allowed to spend it on whatever I want. There's too much to choose from, and I don't even know what Santa's bringing me. Well, I hope it's gonna be a happy Christmas. I feel the way I feel too now. Ding dong, ding dong. With my gifts around me, will I be astounded? Will it be the neatest, merriest, greatest, best of Christmas day? Best of Christmas days! Oh, we hope it's gonna be a happy I Christmas. I wonder what I'm gonna get for we Christmas. We feel the way we feel tonight. Let's try to remind me of With a our friend. friends around yeah, us. Yeah, wait! Will we be astounded? Yes, the neatest, merriest, greatest, best of Christmas days. I can hardly wait. We can hardly wait. We can hardly wait. We can hardly wait. We can hardly wait. I'm going to get some more sheep. I can hardly wait. Christmas to me, you broke your truck again. This is a going to cost you. Do you have a loaner I could borrow? I have to deliver those packages tonight or else. Oh, sure, I have a sleigh with a reindeer out back. What do I look like, a Santa Claus? Can you fix it tonight? You want me to work on a Christmas Eve? Cost you double, cash only. But I won't get paid until I finish the deliveries. I'll lose my job. Dad, what's happening? How is this my problem? If you can't pay, then go away. We are close. My truck! Come back after Christmas. With cash. What about our tree? We have to find your mother. I have an idea. Laura's dad should ask Santa for a new truck. Uh, Junior, I'm not sure you realize how this works. No, he's got it right. We have to be good. Santa brings us stuff. It's the circle of Christmas, Bob. Let me ask you this first. What's Christmas about? Santa! Family! Presents! Big turkeys, juicy hams, and sweet potatoes with those little marshmallows on top. <laughs> I haven't had dinner yet. Oh, baby Jesus! Wait a minute. What does Santa have to do with baby Jesus? Now that's a great question. Let's find out. Do you know what Santa's real name is? Santa's real name? I'll give you a hint. Up on the housetop, click, 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 down through the chimney comes... Old Saint Nick! Or try this one. 
The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that... St. Nicholas' suit would be there! Right again! So, who's this St. Nicholas? That's Santa's real name. Bob, a little heads up. Santa's real name is Santa. It's fairly self-explanatory. It looks like I need to tell you all the story of St. Nicholas. It's a gift. Oh, really? Thank you, lady. Back before the days of Constantine, when the emperors of Rome were nasty mean. In a grimy sounding country that was fairly clean. Greece, Greece, Greece. In the land of Saganaki and Feta oh, cheese, of Plato, Aristotle, and Socrates, where you could have a toga party if you pleased. Nice toga. A body stove. That's thank you in Greece, Greece, Greece. Greece is the home of Nicholas, Nicholas, Nicholas. Now we're in the song before you're sick of us. Greece, Greece, Greece. Good job. Caught a lot of fish, Captain? Uh, your father will be pleased. He and I are going to catch even more when we go fishing today. Oh, I bet you will. Who's that? That's young St. Nicholas. Wait. That's Santa Claus? It can't be. We're nowhere near the North Pole. Oh, does he go on an adventure? Does he get swept out to sea while trying to save an elf? Hold on, little elf. I'll save you. Grab hold of my sleigh. Are you done? Just trying to move the plot along, Bob. Nicholas grew up here with two parents who loved him very much. He had no need that went unmet, and he was happy. Nicholas, it's a time for church. Dad and I are going to go fishing, as soon as church is over. Oh, all right. Does he live in a church? In the third century, most people worshipped in homes. Did they also have Christmas in the summer? Because it doesn't feel very festive around here. Well, it's not Christmas time yet. I mean, a wreath or something. Huh? I'm telling you, I said it, and it was there. Of course it was. It's our story, and we're telling it. Oh. Now quiet, they're praying. Please comfort him in this trying time and heal him from his sickness. Amen. And now let us sing. Hey, Nicky boy, sneaking out before the party? This could go on for hours. And don't call me Nicky boy. I think it's nice, Nickel Stick. Your parents are always thinking of others, always giving. I guess. I'll be outside. Or you could help me give away. All this fish. Sing we with heart and voice and never cease. To praise with one accord the God of peace. Friends, may God's blessing be with you all. And also with you. And now, who's hungry? I made the baklava. Who needs a honey rush? So, how about those Olympics, eh? <laughs> Wasting away, yeah. More fish! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Octavius, next time, hold the anchovies. Oh. <laughs> 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 Let's see. Shovel, rake, hoe, hoe, hoe. Oh, fishing poles. There they are. Blessings be with you all. Time for fishing? Time for fishing. Not very Christmassy, Bob. Shh! This conversation is important. Needs lights. Twinkling lights. <laughs> You know, Jesus said we are fishers of men. I told you, Captain, we'd catch more fish than he did today. Nicholas, are you listening to me? What? Sure. You said something about fishing. Nicholas, this is important. We are called to be God's hands and feet on this earth. 
See that widow cleaning laundry years ago, she fell quite ill. Had no coin to give the doctor, someone secret paid her bill. See that merchant selling jewelry, he once trod a treacherous road. Someone came beside the man and helped to bear his heavy load. I can love because God loved Nicholas, are you listening to me? Wow, get a load of that! You got a one job. Looks like what Gustav's a got himself a fresh batch no. of workers. I feel sorry for him. Why? Gustav loves nothing but money. He finds folks who run out of money and out of hope. Then he works them to the bone. Come on! You there! Pick up those oars! Clean this place up! Oh, yes, Mr. Gustav, sir. Daddy! Daddy! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. oh no. You are fine. Oh, but... But how will I feed my family? Uh, get off of my ship, you Ooh. fool! Get Daddy! Off of oh, Daddy! Get off of my oh, ship! Oh. And make sure you're not feeling Are you okay? Oh, no, it's all right, girls. It's okay. Good man. If it's food you need, just knock on my door and ask for Octavius. He'll see that you don't leave hungry. Oh, thank you, kind sir. My family is in your debt. Take his charity while you can get it, little man. What are you looking at? Dad, if we keep giving away our fish, will I end up working for Gustav? God has blessed our family with much, but everything we have belongs to him. He wants us to use what we have to help others, what? not to keep it for ourselves. Are you listening to me? And realizing that all the young children of the world deserved a better life, St. Nick resolved to gain weight, grow a beard, and teach reindeer to fly. Not quite. Just testing you. You can't teach reindeer to fly. They gotta eat magic corn. As unfair as it seems, this is the world where young Nicholas found himself. No, there is no problem. Where are they going? Oh, great piles of codfish! You scared me, Nick-Nack! Don't call me Nick-Nack! The woman's husband is sick. They're going to help. It seems everyone's getting sick these days. They should stay at home. What if they get sick? Oh, you'll know your parents. Wherever there's a need, they'll be there. Now get to sleep, you little halibut. Don't call me halibut. Nickerdoodle? No. Nick Jr.? Please don't. Nicky Bopper? Make it stop. Okay, Nicholas. Back to bed. So, anybody up for some hot cocoa? Is that the end? It's kind of a European ending. We're left with more questions than answers. Uh, that's it's not the end of the story. We're just coming up to the, uh, the sad part. The sad part? What happens? Is this the part where they don't let Rudolph play in their reindeer games? That's so insensitive. No, it's about Nick's parents. Why would Nick's parents want to play reindeer games? N not that, Larry. Something happened to Nick's parents. What? Well, they did get sick, and they... They what, Bob? Well... What happened to Nick's parents, Bob? Well, a great sickness came through their town. They... Bob? They died. While Nicholas was still a boy, both of his parents died. He still had plenty of food and a nice house to live in, but he was an orphan, a boy with no parents. Oh, Nicholas, I am so sorry. What am I gonna do now? You could answer the door. Hello, Nicholas. What do you want? There's no need to be rude, Nicholas. I'm here to help you. Won't you excuse us? I have some business with that boy. Fine, don't mind me. I'll just be sitting at the dock of the bay, wasting time. I suppose you know you have to run your father's fishing business now, Nicholas. That's a big job. What do you mean? I was just thinking about all those poor, sick, hungry people your parents were always helping. What about them? Well, with your parents gone, who will help them? It's going to take a lot of money and a lot of fish. Please help my family. Family. my family. Sure, I, I guess I could give you some. Many blessings on you, sir. Oh!
How can you help anyone if you give everything you have away? Your you better so find and smoke some fish. I don't have any more. I have to get out of here. Hey, Nicholas. Where are you going? I can't stay here, Octavius. I'm leaving Greece. But Greece is the word. Way anchor, Captain. We're leaving. You can't do this. Is it because of the nicknames? Don't call me nicknames. No, uh, nicknames is not a nickname. I'm leaving. I have to go. I'll come with you. No, Octavius. You'll only remind me of my parents. So where are we going? I don't know. Anywhere but here. All right, fellas. You heard the man. Yes, Goodbye, boy. Nicholas. I sure hope you'll find what you're looking for. The story isn't very Christmassy. That's because the ship hasn't landed on Peppermint Island yet, inhabited by Kirby the Yodeling Elf. There's no such thing, Larry. They're sailing to the North Pole. Right, Bob? They don't meet elves, and they don't sail to the North Pole. South Pole? No. Winter Wonderland? Nope. Toys R Us? The happy young boy who had needed nothing now found himself with a great big hole in his heart. Nick and the crew spent several years sailing the Mediterranean, looking for something that would make him feel happy again. Until finally, right around the end of the year, they came to a place called the Holy Land, the place where Jesus was born. Nicholas remembered his father always talking about Jesus, so he decided to go check it out for himself. All right, now we're talking. It's finally feeling Christmassy. Deck the halls with sacred knickknacks. Line our robes with righteous kickbacks. On we holiday apparel. Stroll the holy craze and barrel. la 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 Christmas is about. Uh, no, Larry, I don't think. See the golden grails before us. Swipe your card and join the chorus. Follow us in merry measure. Fill your bags with holy treasure. Fa la 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 Very much for coming. La 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 la. Twist the key, enjoy the drumming. I have a plastic plastic toy to give to girl or boy. I'll bring them peace and joy. Oh boy. La 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 Stuff doesn't make me feel any happier. Wonder if anything will make me feel happy again. Huh? Where's he going, Bob? Let's see. This is a church built on the exact spot in Bethlehem where Jesus was born. Nativity Chapel? Wow! I wonder if the shepherds stood right here. Larry. I can practically see the wise men. God loves you. Go in peace. God loves you. Go in peace. Excuse me, ma'am? What are you doing? I'm feeding the poor. What are you doing? I'm, um, just standing here. God loves you. Go in peace. Do you do that to feel happy? Oh, no. I do it because I am happy. My love is a gift to them. Because God's love was a gift to me. Well, what do you mean? I can love because God loves me. I can give because God gave. Jesus' love is why I'm smiling, why I'm giving every day. When the clouds are dark above me, when the world is cold and gray, I remember how he loves me, and again you'll hear me say, I can love because God loves me, I can give because God gave. Jesus' love is why I'm smiling, why 
Sister Claire explained to Nick how at Christmas is the time when Jesus came near to us so that he could show everyone how much he loved them. So that's why I give to the poor, Nicholas. I'm so happy about the gift God gave me. And that's why my parents gave, too. Nicholas realized he wasn't alone, and he didn't feel like an orphan anymore. He believed that God sent Jesus for him because God loved him so much, and he wanted to share that love by helping others in need. Suddenly, Nicholas knew what he needed to do. It was time to go home. God loves you. Go in peace. Okay, I'm ready too. Check out the Sea of Galilee muffin pan. You don't bake. Yet. I don't bake. Yet.